From the TBD studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. Over the weekend, we saw a lot of it. Sun, sun. Didn't that feel good? It? it did, it did. But were you ready for it? I was. <laughs> I was out there in the yard for a while. Well, you may have pulled out your tank tops and your shorts this weekend, but are you good when it comes to your sunglasses? Well, Style Auteur's Lauren Rothman is here today, and she has some simple tips for picking the very perfect pair of shades for our eyes. Hi, Lauren. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You look very spring-like. Thank I like you. That I know we've, got, we've all got a pop of color yes, here. Yes, we do. The best accessory, of course, sunglasses, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and you brought plenty. That, yes. <gasps> so much to Love. shop from here. <laughs> I'll take well, one know, of each. <laughs> you can have them. Wow. You know, this is that time of year where the weather's definitely nicer. Yeah. And so we're outside more. And I've got a ton of clients who are wanting to shade themselves when they're outside. So whether they're protecting themselves from the sun or the paparazzi, mm. they want to make sure <laughs> that they're looking stylish and are feeling Are there good. certain trends that we should be all be aware of this spring? You know, I have to say, honestly, the trends this season are a little bit harder to follow. So because we've, we're seeing a lot of the new circular glasses, so mm -hmm. a little O to sort of give peace a chance. What's interesting is when you when I look at the table, what you brought here, it's not just one thing. You know, the year the big sunglasses was a couple years ago. You still have right. that. You, I mean, you just have a piece the of everything. Yeah, you've got wrap the arounds. It's all touching in. on all trends. Because you know, at the end of the day, you're really shopping for your face shape mm -hmm. instead of just shopping for the trends. So while I do have some of the trends on the table, I really want to talk about how to shop for your face shape. Let's start with the round shape. If you have a round face, what yes. do you recommend here? So if you have a round shape, what you really want to think about is going opposite your face shape. So you really want to go with a square lens. Okay, we've got so, a picture here. Yeah, so if you've got a round shape like this, that means that the width going lengthwise to horizontally sort of match. So you want to go opposite your face shape to really flatter. So a nice round lens is going to be really, um, excuse me, a square lens square, is square. going to be very flattering for a round is face. Is it square? So yes, this is square with a little bit of a rounded edge. edge. These are Gucci. These are available at Saks Fifth Avenue. And these are a great match for someone with a round face. Okay. Um, but we've also got some that are really in a rectangular kind of look. That's also great for round. Mm -hmm. So these are Burberry. These are available at Lord & Taylor. That's great. Now you look quite glamorous. Quite chic. Doesn't Very you, chic. I like yeah, it. that looks terrific on you. You, you actually <laughs> I know where those easy. will be after you the show. You picked these out for me. I so did. you have a good eye. I oh, don't know thank how you. you figured that thank out. You. Well, you know, what you do tend to find is some of the square, bigger shades, mm -hmm. they do tend to offer versatility for all different face shapes. So that's great because you've actually got a little bit more of a heart-shaped face. Heart-shaped. Heart shaped face. And one of the reasons. Somebody told me I had an oval face. How are you supposed to figure out what you have? Well, are you, you know, supposed to look up right here and, and how, I mean, from here to here? Well, there's a couple on? of tricks. There's definitely some measuring that can be done. One of my favorite apps, if you're an iPhone person, is the eBay Fashion app. You just got her on the Blackberry. Hold uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it, I'm making it time. <laughs> well, in that case, you can go online, lenscrafters.com. Great, great tools for figuring out your face shape. But I'll tell you, Moni, one of the reasons those look so good on you is because they cover again. your I, they cover, the yeah, they cover the eyebrows. So you want to get them to meet well, your, your eyebrows up. What happens is that when they touch the eyebrows or cover them a little bit, it shortens the forehead. And that creates a really nice illusion. It looks good. Yeah, it looks Just really good. We don't really want to have these like humongous. <laughs> yeah, they're too small or too big. Those look perfect on you. Yeah, okay. those look very glamorous. Very glamorous. Well, what am I? What am I? Am I we're, we're You're a little bit more of an oval am face oval? shape. Okay. Yes. And you so when beans. you've got an oval face shape, it's great because you're very lucky. You look good in almost every type of frame. Well, I don't so, feel that way. Congratulations. We'll, we'll, go with it. well, let's well, tell you out. the trick. The trick let's when you've got down. an oval like face this? shape. Oh, really? So I would have never picked these She's out. She's a movie oh. star in those. It, you, know, you look terrific <laughs> in those. You're so like Angelina Jolie. -ish. There, well, and Angelina Jolie has an oval face shape. Yeah. So uh -huh. there you go. Oh, me and so Brad. One of the tricks <laughs> to achieving with an oval face shape like? is that yes. you want to make sure <laughs> that you are getting the right proportion again to your face shape. So you you can have an oval face shape and have a larger face or a more petite face. So you really want to keep it in balance. Okay. okay. Any other ovals on here? So yeah, there are a ton of ovals. I mean, aviators, we've got this Tom Ford. This is available at Saks. Mm -hmm. And these Ray-Bans, which of course are classic, this is available at Lord & Taylor. Okay. Um, and then we've also got this square face shape. 
So if you've got the square face shape, you also want to go opposite. So you want to do something that's a little more rounded. Because if you've got a square face shape, you've got angular going on right there. And you really want to soften the curves. So that's when you want to really have fun and do more one of the softer faces, one of the softer face shapes. So we've got a few up here that are great for that, including this is the Daddy B. This is all of our people's. Yes, that one. That's very popular. We're seeing that on Jay-Z. We're seeing it on Alicia Keys. And it's this like a, a huge celebrity. The 80s kind of coming it is, back, isn't it? It is. And we've got the Wayfair, Wayfair in front of that. And that's this one, also, the yes, Return of the 80s. It's a little big oh, these, for you, but it's so very 80s. celeb. These are so very, 80s. And it's a little rocker. Those yeah. look fantastic don't you, don't you on you. Remember the black ones that Madonna oh, used to always fantastic. wear? Fantastic. I Absolutely. mean, everybody had those. And remember when they had fluorescent sides? Yes. They, <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me those aren't coming back. They are not coming with, back. With the they are not shoes, coming they back. <laughs> so, but those right, are so great. So it's the opposite of what your face is. Yeah, that's so if the opposite. If you're more round, you go more square. And right. Now, what right. if you're somewhere where you've got like the triangle thing, like the heart? Like the so heart when you've got the heart, that's when you're going to look at the cat eye. So we've got a Jessica Simpson and a Ray Ban. Is that this one? Yeah, that's that one. And this is this is very on trend for the season. It's harder to wear, but the cat eye is also very in for the season They're and a little huge. bit of a return. They, they, I feel They're like huge. way back when, when everybody wore the huge right. cat eye. They, right. they, it sort of reminds you of like what a really stylish grandma would have worn. <laughs> but it can look good, and it does shield you from the paparazzi. So you're seeing these on all the celebrities. Nicole Richie, mm. I mean, you're seeing them all over the place. What about the lens that's graded, like. gradient? You, you know, know, I find that's great for when you're really an indoor-outdoor person with your sunglasses. So you're just quickly running into the gas station or the grocery store. You want to keep your glasses mm -hmm. on. The gradated lens is really good. And you know, what's really important, there are three steps when it comes to shopping for sunglasses. Okay. Okay. And so the first step is, of course, defining your face shape. But the second one is understanding the purpose behind the glasses. Are they for sitting at the pool or are they for sports? So, so I mean, and you, you gotta think about it. real protection or looking good. Right. And sometimes you can't get both. And for the best protection, Maui gyms. So these guys, ladies, top-notch protection. And what, does the, what makes this so top-notch? This is a shield style, and they're just known for that UVA and UVB protection. Huge. What do you think, Mel? Well, I think that they cover, they wrap around. So they you're wrap around. The, the nose pads are a little bit adjustable. These are probably a little bit on the big side for you. I think so. But I'll say, I'm doing the Avon Wong for breast cancer <laughs> next weekend, and these are the ones that I'm wearing, because I'm going to be walking for eight hours, and I want the best protection yeah. possible. So Good Maui funny, Gym is great for that, and it also showcasing a little bit of the animal trend, which which we're seeing a little yeah, bit on, on lenses, yeah. So that's something that we're really seeing a lot of yeah, right now. I'm noticing that the arms are very wide on they a are. lot of them that, and that I try on this sometimes. year. And the problem for driving is that when you turn to the side, right, you've got a blind it blocks spot. your peripheral. <laughs> you must I have am. a driver, darling. Do you need the right kind, like that wrap <laughs> when around you're, glass, When you're wearing these really guys, well. you have to have a driver. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> so driver come with I like it. the way she thinks. <laughs> All right, a little bit of stylier. Is this Burberry? Yes, these are Burberry. So if you want to like look very she-she, right? Right, so you can definitely see a lot of the styling and you'll see it on the Gucci has a little bit of a touch of the bamboo the Chanel has the logo on mm -hmm. the side you're also seeing the plastic that's done in a different color on the bottom like these guys marked by Marc Jacobs so there is a lot that's happening on the side the of the glasses embellishment goes a long but way. you want to be yeah. careful you don't want too much of a party on the side because then people aren't really going to focus on, on the you. Exactly. exactly and at the end of the day right that's what it's yeah. about yeah of course they should you flatter and the you <laughs> Lauren Rothman thanks for being here thank, thank you, you.